everybody. So today's Monday. That means it's time for a family movie night. And this week we are continuing on classic musical month. And we're talking about the 1953 film Calamity Jane. And I'm a big Doris Day fan. In fact, the very first uh, DVD review I ever did on this channel was reviewing my box sets of D Doris Day uh, DVD box sets. <laughs> Uh, and I just love her. I love her positivity. I love her humor. I love the romance. I, I just think she's very underrated as an actress. And uh, I think that Calamity Jane is one of her best movies. Uh, and it's, I think, very underrated. You, you never really hear it talked about that much, but I really enjoy it. Of course, it's, it tells the story of Calamity Jane, who is a real person in the Old West, and Bill Hickok. Yes, there never was a glibber fibber or a cuter shooter than Calamity Jane. She could outstalk, outdraw, outride any man in Deadwood City, except Wild Bill Hickok. It stars Doris Day as Calamity Jane, and uh, she is just so effervescent and lovely in this movie. From the very, very first song that we get with, it's our introduction to Deadwood, uh, the Deadwood stage. I love that song. I think it's so cheerful and fun. With disaster, when Bill Hickok's reputation you malign. And I'm glad to say he's a very good friend of a friend of mine. The way the dancing and the choreography is staged, to really showcase Doris Day, and uh, and it makes you smile. Uh, just seeing her smile and being such a happy, fun character, and and it's it's what we need because she can be a little of a brat later on in the movie. So once we get kind of endeared to her, then it helps us to kind of put up with her being kind of uh, selfish uh, later on in the movie, I think. Basically what happens is they're in Deadwood, there's this review, there's this uh, uh, musical vaudeville kind of show or whatever that's going on there. And uh, they all, the men are in love with Adelaide Adams and they all have these pictures from cigarette uh, that they uh, prize. And so for because various circumstances, uh, Calamity Jane ends up promising that she's going to bring Adelaide to Deadwood. She goes to Chicago to get her and she ends up accidentally hiring uh, Adelaide's maid who happens to be wearing uh, Adelaide's costumes uh, in the dressing room. And so uh, at first they're all upset, but then they all end up loving this replacement. Her name's Katie. And there becomes this kind of love triangle uh, where Katie ends up falling for this lieutenant. And, uh, and then you also have Bill Hickok that's involved as well. And uh, so that's all a lot of fun. Uh, and you also have uh, Katie and uh, Calamity becoming friends and they end up uh, sharing a house together. And there's this whole song, Woman's Touch. Uh, where they uh, make everything much nicer. A woman's touch, a woman's touch. The magic of Aladdin couldn't do as much. She's a wizard, she's a champ, and she doesn't need a lamp. So on Letterboxd, everybody's saying, oh, it's an LGBTQ movie because of the friendship of Katie and Calamity. And I guess I can see that, but it, I, I can also just see them being friends. I think both interpretations are valid and uh, they both are very, very uh, into this lieutenant. And it is kind of funny how they set it up because as soon as, uh, as soon as Calamity ends up being interested in, as soon as, as soon as Calamity ends up kissing Bill, all of a sudden, like her interest in the lieutenant is gone. <laughs> which Howard Kill is great. So I guess I can see that <laughs> than the stuffy Lieutenant. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, they have the Windy City. Uh, that's when she comes back from Chicago. That's a great number. I just flew in from the Windy City. The Windy City is mighty pretty, but they ain't got what we got. I'm telling you boys, I ain't a swapping half a dead one for the whole of Illinois. <laughs> Uh, we have Higher Than a Hawk, which uh, is sung by Howard Kill, sung by Bill about Katie. And it's okay. It's a fine, it's okay love song, but it is kind of funny that it's all sung inside. So you don't get any kind of like spectacle at all. It's just him singing to this poster. 
Uh, but uh, but the Black Hills of Dakota, that's a very sweet song as they're going to this gala. And Take me back to the Black Hills, the Black Hills of Dakota. You have Calamity being pretty rude and selfish, but she kind of learns that she was being selfish and she's called out on being selfish, so I don't mind it at all. And, uh, and you see a character arc for her character through the course of the movie. And this movie's just fun and sweet and has, has some good songs and good choreography and, and likable performers. And I think that Howard Keel and Doris Day had nice chemistry. I I'd heard somewhere that this was her favorite movie that she ever did. And I can see why it just looks like a, a good time that was had by all to make it. The song that won the Academy Award is Secret Love. And uh, it's a beautiful song and Doris Day's a great singer. So I can see why it won. And my secret love's no secret anymore. And I see why especially that song is seen as like an LGBTQ song, you know, secret love and everything. But uh, but uh, it's, it's very, it's very pretty. So this is just... A good time, old fashioned Western uh, with likable performers, some pretty good songs. And I think it's underrated. I think that it should be talked about as one of the one of the the best of this kind of era of 1950s uh musicals and i love door stay in it so let me know what you think about this movie would love to hear your thoughts in the comments or on twitter and please like this video please subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it have a patron group and merch stores take a look at that and thanks so much everybody we'll talk to you later bye